Hey folks, how we doing? So as you see, I'm gonna do a review on my Diskin Fire. Fire is the model number, Diskin is the maker. He has a couple, couple different knives, I think some things were from Kershaw and uh, some uh, Chinese made, uh, you know, double action automatics, cheap ones. And this is his custom. Uh, custom, more like a production, uh, mid-tech production knife, you know, it is machine made, but it's very nicely done. Uh, his show prices are actually very fair, you know, $350 is actually very fair considering materials, uniqueness and uh, overall construction. The retail price normally and uh, what you find them online is a little steeper, but uh, pretty much competitive with the other big time makers, you know, if you're talking the second secondary market and stuff like that. Plus the $350 price, it's really only on the on the shows. It's like uh, promotions, you know. You have 0.132 inch thick stack of Elmac steel hardened to 6061 by Peter's Heat Treat. So far, pretty good. Uh, as most of the knives actually on the beginning, before you actually refine the edge, it's not gonna be crazy. But actually, once you once you touch up the edge. Uh, with the use it should be very very good Elmax with the Peters heat treat is actually very very good steel I've uh, done it with my blades and they are excellent the blade itself is four and a half uh, sorry three and a half inch long on the top of the handle the actual cutting edge is three and a quarter inch long yeah very nice kind of like a what would you call it drop point I guess drop point spear point uh, Pro or clip point maybe even not clip but I don't know what you would call it good attractive elegant looking blade with nice and fine tip you know the tip is very fine which I like nice thin grind actually pretty thin on the edge this looks like about uh, right under 20 thousands I think I didn't measure it but it looks like under 20 thousand thick on the edge uh, nice little small choke up index you know finger choil up front and also very nice not crazy deep but plenty deep for even tactical use you know tactical use of this knife it the hand does lock in very comfortably you have titanium scales frame and then you have a carbon fiber overlay like a scales on top of them now the the main lock the main frame of the knife actually because the the top scales the carbon fiber scales are kind of inset as you see you know the titanium protrudes uh, because of that it's still kind of like a frame lock your your finger when you grab the knife still holds down on that on that locking side so you kind of holding it in close position not as pronounced as in the regular traditional frame locks when you have no cover no scale on it but you still have the little bit of tension you know forcing on the lock so it doesn't close the handle is four and a half inch so when you know when it's closed it's four and a half inches and overall length when it's open it's eight inches it's actually pretty light considering how pretty be it's not beefy like but it's not super thin it's not like crazy thin elegant knife it's nicely rounded very, very contoured good shape blade actually not that small it's actually pretty big and uh, considering the dimensions and everything it's actually only 4.2 ounces, which isn't bad at all. That's actually pretty decent weight. It's it's not heavy. It's it's a good weight. It's definitely not heavy by any means, considering how big the knife is. I think the stock is about one. I think it's made from one inch wide stock. And uh, what else is to say about this? The line, the line, the line, not the line lock, the frame lock, the lock itself has stainless steel insert. Like I mentioned in the previous videos, only downside of this was actually that the the edge of the the inside edge of the insert wasn't rounded off. Uh, he probably overlooked it or or forgot about it, so it was kind of pointy. What I did, I just took a little diamond file and I knocked it off just a tiny bit because you cannot really take this apart. It has the security screws all over the place. The only thing you can take apart is you can fit the Torx small, I think it's number six Torx in this little slot in the pocket clip and you can remove the pocket clip. Pocket clip is screwed through and you see it's like nicely hidden underneath the carbon fiber scale. That's about the only thing you can temp 
you know quote unquote tamper with all the other screws are the security screws even the pivot screw is security it's locked tight it's uh, so far no it didn't you know didn't loosen up or anything it's super smooth very nice it has uh, AKBS inside IKBS I don't know it's IKBS or some other type of roller rollers inside but it does have some kind of rolling washers inside it's super smooth what I like about it is a very unique knife everything is very well thought through from from the small little details like a, you know pivot look at the little uh, decorative pivot head on the on the front side to the thumb stud thumb stud is very attractive looking I think it's very very attractive looking stone wash is beautiful very nicely done also their DLC coated blades you know the black and out blades are very attractive good looking you know like uh, doesn't look like something falls on it doesn't look just like some kind of paint or coat on the blade just looks very good kind of like a kind of like a like a gun blood I actually originally thought that it was gun blood somehow on it and uh, pocket clip nice and deep carry pop pocket clip and backspacer also actually is lighting strike carbon fiber which is nice touch they have a version where the whole scale this scale is lighting strike carbon fiber but I think they charge like hundred dollars more just because those you know these two small little pieces of materials are you know higher end a little bit higher and uh, carbon fiber other, rather than just this regular carbon fiber even this regular uh, this carbon fiber as I heard is not just you know regular twill uh, as I heard it's uh, twill the 2x2 two two twill combined with the unidirectional that's probably why you see those kind of layers in there and not completely same pattern and plus the whole handle is CNC machined you can see that pretty cool design it it looks like kind of like a checkering almost i think that would be that would be the best description kind of like a checkering design but uh it's actually not aggressive but just just the right grip even the people who don't like aggressive handles will probably like this because it's not aggressive it doesn't act like a file it's not like painful or anything it's just that very very cool balance of of a grip and comfort and uh, nice thing also what I like the way they did it if you look at the knife you know the whole knife is contoured like everything is beveled you know from be of beveling of the actual scales you know knocked off the edge here knocked off the edge on the titanium everything is very nicely contoured same on the bottom like I said many times very very nicely designed and made knife so far everything is working perfect you know you can flip this knife with super you know the smallest move of the thumb will fly the blade open really really quick and uh, now the cool thing some of you know this is double uh, double action automatic knife with a very cool cool hidden you know trigger thing whatever you call it trigger feature on this knife it's the scale the top scale you slide it towards the top of the knife and the knife flies out really fast with a nice kick to it nothing crazy it's not that crazy that you would actually have to be worried about knife flying out of your hand you don't really have to like crazy squeeze on it but it has that 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 power it it has that kick like yes i can fly open real quick which is really cool when i saw this feature first when the when the blade dude 92 showed it to me i was like wow that's really neat because you would never guess you know just from somebody hands you this knife you would never think about it you would never it would never occur to you that there is anything more than that and uh, it's nicely done there is like a spring inside that somehow lags in the place the spring kind of runs along with the top of the handle and uh, it's pretty cool and as I heard you can actually dry fire this knife also you know whatever happened you know if you leave it like this and dry fire it should not damage the knife at all sometimes it acts up when you but it's I noticed that it when certain positions when I somehow grab on the scale and try to clo uh, close it it doesn't engage but it's actually very rare and I noticed that mostly most of the time it's when I'm somehow some weird you know when I hold the knife in some weird position where I'm actually like putting pressure some kind of pressure on the scale I think there is the mechanism somehow works with the scale also when you close it so you know it has nice and tight tolerances 
and uh, you know like you try to close it in force that spring to lock in sometimes it doesn't do but you know when I realize that I just let go of the knife and just squeeze it nicely like this and it closes so far I've used it a little bit not much the knife doesn't doesn't we, uh, show wear very much there's you know the whole titanium is scr uh, not scratched but it's stone washed also has a nice dark finish to it so it actually you know uh, hides the any of the little everyday wear little like micro scratches and stuff like that also the pocket clip the same thing you know it is stone washed and uh, doesn't really show much wear so that's pretty cool too the same goes for the blade you know it has kind of similar stone wash i would say to hinder it's not as nice but you know it ha it is a very nice stone wash and doesn't show much wear on the on the blade so guys hope you enjoyed the, this little review actually uh, i will be selling this if somebody's interested contact me uh, you guys know that it's not a cheap blade uh, they go for about 500 to 550 dollars on the forums on ebay and uh, i think even i think he sells them for 500 or 450 if he even sells them online I do want to sell it because I want to get some other stuff that I want to play with and try uh, mostly some production knives and uh, if somebody's interested 450 it's still a lot less than uh, than uh, you know other secondary markets it's brand new there is no not it's not brand new it's slightly used it doesn't have much wear it's gonna be sharper than uh, if you buy it from him only thing is that as I was filing down that little edge you see those two micro scratches or three micro scratches that's the only where it has on the stainless steel insert that's the only where this knife have has and uh, I'm pretty sure that if you get this you will not regret it I like this knife only thing is I don't really want to carry it because I don't want to get into trouble here and you guys know my deal with uh, keeping knives that I don't use I don't like that I rather pass it on somebody else and get something else or get some materials and stuff like that so hope you enjoyed it guys thank you for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself